This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 10, and it reads, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakradash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be likened to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Ayashah Barazal. And brother uh, Barah Debar. All right, we're from the Indianapolis branch on the Great Millstone. And uh, this is uh, uh, a, a part one of a two video series uh, uh, that we're doing for uh, uh, um, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. And uh, we're uh, going to uh, subtitle this uh, The Red Summer of 1919. Uh, we're going to deal with uh, four massacres, uh, uh, two per video, and, um, you know, just put some scriptures to it because uh, Esau has really, you know, uh, wrecked, wrecked havoc on us. Um, we have uh, Barah. You're going to start with uh, Washington, uh, D.C. Washington, D.C., and then I'm going to go with uh, uh, the, the Chicago riot uh, in 1919. Like I said, there's a couple more we're going to do after this. And uh, we chose uh, Red Summer because that's what uh, uh, Edom, when you said in the Hebrew, is uh, Adawam, meaning red. You know, this this dude is nothing but about blood. All right. So uh, you can go ahead and uh, okay. we're going to get some highlights. We'll put the links to these uh, articles uh, in, in the, in the, uh, in the description box, too. So we just hit the highlights of it now and then we'll um, um, give you full access to the uh, article. Yep. All right. Kyle. Go ahead. Yep. So uh, in the summer, uh, the red summer of 1919, on a Saturday uh, night, July 19th, 1919, uh, in a downtown bar, it's like a group of white men, uh, veterans, actually, military uh, veterans, sparked a rumor regarding the, the arrest that was questioned of a so-called black man. Um, with suspicion um, by the Metropolitan Police Department of sexual um, uh, immorality to uh, a white woman. And so the victim, you know, was actually um, uh, the wife of a, a Navy, a Navy man. And so the rumors between uh, not actually granted that it being true, the rumors was pu uh, pushed around to all like the, the bars and the different parlors. Um, of this man and as the rumor spread by the end of that night um, you know they actually started to pick up uh, sticks and all manner of weapons clubs and pipes and of all sorts and they went into um, the the predominantly black uh, which which the um, which the document would say predominantly black african-american uh, town and started to, you know, seize them, pull them out of their cars. If they caught you on sidewalks, they were being beaten mm -hmm. uh, to the very point where um, the police department did not intervene at any point of the matter. So this was like a four day um, uh, riot of just uh, men, women and children of you so-called blacks and Hispanics as those that were in this predominantly black neighborhood that was being killed and being beaten and um and so in the end, of course, the so-called blacks who we know um, are Israelites, you know, mm -hmm. they fought back still at the same time, not being in, uh, no intervention of the police department. And um, of course, by the fourth day and the violence being, um, you know, at its at its height, uh, President Woodrow Wilson during this time period sent forth the National Guards. However, by heavy rains, uh, it coiled. Uh, the riot and so many people were killed many people were hurt and, and badly beaten and injured uh, because of this riot mm -hmm. and uh, you know the same thing with all of them you know they call for police help but they're not going to do nothing because a lot of them are involved uh, with it as well too all right <clears throat> here's a little some highlights on the chicago uh, race riot of uh, 1919 uh, this is the second um, event we're going to cover for that year uh, this occurred uh, between July 27th 
1919 to August 12th, uh, 1919. Uh, this massacre started when a so-called African-American named Eugene Williams inadvertently crossed a segregated boundary into the whites-only swimming area. Uh, these whites uh, hurled stones at Williams, uh, eventually hit him in the head and knocking him unconscious in the water, causing him to drown. All right. Uh, so instead of the Chicago police um, arresting the whites who caused Williams death, they arrested a so-called uh, black beach goer for a minor offense. This uh, part right here began the clash of the uh, blacks and whites, ultimately leaving um it said approximately 38 people dead, 500 injured, and nearly 1,000 homeless. Um, the majority in each of those categories were uh, so-called black people, all right? And, um, and um, because they were outnumbered, uh, outgunned, uh, and outmanned by the whites who additionally had sympathy from the police. So uh, th throughout history, you know, the, the government... <laughs> was always some faction of the government was always complicit with the demise of Jake in these situations like this all right always always you know the the either they didn't do anything or they uh, uh aided in it you know all right so these are things that uh Esau Edom has to pay for you know all of this is at the hands of uh, so-called white people you know the people that you know who have been a, a, a terror to us uh going all the way back to the days of uh, Jacob and Esau, all right? And and that's the thing, you know, Esau, Edom is the so-called white man, all right? You know, he cannot his, escape his his judgment. He cannot escape who he is. He has deceived the whole world, okay? And now all that truth is coming out, but he has to pay for that, all right? You know, you just don't get away uh, with the uh, the bloodshed that you've uh, uh, done to, to, to Jake, all right? You got right. some. Yep, so, um, are you done with the story? Yeah, I'm done with the story. Yep, kind of. So, just a, a thought uh, <laughs> pattern in this. Um, this is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has shown us as far as the good and the evil, right? And why keeping his commandments and his statutes, his judgments, you know, are uh, above any other. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 16. It says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Now, we know that this is dealing, the neighbor in this particular scripture is dealing with your fellow Israelite man. But when you look out into the world, you see how um, we live amongst uh, these people and a false witness. Uh, you'll find that based, based off a lie, how big it will snowball and how many people could be hurt and die just based off a lie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 a, and a lot of times, you know, you got to keep in mind, too. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, l less than a generation after the Civil War. Mm -hmm. So a lot of Edomites were very, very jealous of Jake. Okay. You know, you got to uh, re remember, once we were off by ourselves, you know, we were flourishing well during this time period. I always reference the movie um, uh, Harlem Nights. You know, it was 1921, right within that same time period. You know, you got to think of, of, the, of that uh, uh, movie. You know, you had uh, uh, Eddie Murphy and uh, Richard Pryor. They had uh, what the club called Sugar Rays. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you had uh, Mr. Calhoun, yep. uh, the fat white guy who had the Pity Pack Club way across on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. You know, none of their clientele ever interacted w w with each other. However, uh, a fathead Calhoun, you know, felt that, you know, he needed a cut. He didn't like the fact that, you know, uh, uh, Sugar Rays was making more money. That's right. Then he was, and he was jealous, so he sent that cop to his crib. To, you know, uh, what was that cop's name? Uh, I forget. Officer Cantone. Officer uh, yeah, Cantone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sent him. You know, broke into uh, Sugar Ray's house. Somehow, we want our cut. And uh, so Sugar Ray's like, "Well, what are you talking about?" He said, "You uh, make about uh, a, a ten or fifteen a week, which is a lot of money." In 1921, he mm -hmm. was getting over. Uh, we take uh, about ten, you make about ten to fifteen thousand a week. Uh, we'll take like 10. And then he said, if it was left up to me, you wouldn't have shit. Right. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, mad because he's doing well. Leaving you alone, mind his own business. But that these, they, you know, because the thing is, Jake is the salt of the earth. Okay? Salt of the earth. They know we do everything good. All right? So, he didn't, they didn't like the fact that they were making more money and try to destroy it. And this is what you will see in all those time periods, you know, throughout the, uh, after, uh, during the Jim Crow areas, 
You know, anytime we had something flourishing, they they had to come destroy it. And yeah, you know, and just the back you the you know on top of that, it's like you find you find that even back then, that the same spirits are now yeah the same false accusations that are being thrown now in today's time, like today's time, you know, like how. We speak of certain names of like Cosby, Diddy, Michael Jackson, you know, the different accusations, um, you know, some of it may be may be true, you know, but we find that there's been a pattern with these people as far as how they blame and what the blame has always become. When you even think of, um, you know, Emmett Till, you know, what what it was whistling at a, so, a so-called white woman, you know, and so and then there's this flood, you know, and then we mm-hmm. have. um um a rosewood you know we mm-hmm. hear the story of rosewood i have i have one more scripture go ahead if i could this i got want to back you up yeah too. con this is the book of uh exodus i'm gonna read it in the uh kjv then in the uh gnt it's the book of exodus chapter 23 oh that's what i had go ahead con you want to okay no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yep. yeah um verse seven it says keep thee far from a false matter and the innocent and righteous slay thou not for I will not justify the wicked. You want to talk to no, me? On yeah, it? go ahead. He says, uh, yeah. to stay away from that matter. Mm-hmm. He will not justify the wicked. You know, because early on in, in that in that uh, chapter, it also says, you know, follow not a multitude and do evil. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what, what what they did. You know, you didn't have all the facts. You know, something was made up. You know, nine times out of ten, it was always the, like the uh, brother mentioned earlier, always the same pattern. You know, Jake did something, you know, uh, whistled at a white woman in the wrong place uh, uh, at, at, the, at the wrong time. You know, like with that uh, story in Chicago, how in the mm-hmm. hell do you have a boundary in water? Right. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. just 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 making up stuff. All right. But uh, yeah, I mean that they man, you know, they got a lot of pay. They got a lot to pay for, yep. you know, a whole lot of bloodshed and all of this stuff is coming out in the open right now. Which is the reason they want to get rid of a lot of uh, 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 a lot of the apps, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, censoring stuff. You know, you can't say uh, anything. You know, I, I posted some pictures uh, from with from without sanctuary, mm-hmm. which you know show them standing in pictures, you know, uh, glorifying um, the uh, the hanging of our people and, and their mutilated bodies. And then what happened? The social media platform I was on. They penalized me, saying we don't condone uh, self-inflicted uh, uh, murders or suicide. Man, you got them people standing there smiling who did this shit. Mm-hmm. How's it self-inflicted? All right, but that's what they do. You want to go ahead and elaborate more? Yep. This is, uh, just re- read this in the GNT. This is Exodus chapter 23, verse uh, 7 in the GNT. It says, do not make false accusations and do not uh, put an innocent person to death. Mm. For I will uh, condemn... Anyone who do such such an evil thing. Mm. OK, so um, there's been there's a lot of innocent blood, mm-hmm. you know, that has been shed uh, by the hand of Esau Edom, so-called white man. Mm-hmm. These people have shed uh, uh, innocent blood. And we understand that through the scriptures that uh, no, no, um, no fault you know, or no, no wickedness will, will go unpunished. Mm -hmm. He said he will not at all acquit the wicked. Right, right, right. He said he will not at all uh, acquit them. And then there's, there's some scriptures too on that uh, innocent blood deal. Mm -hmm. Um, Let me grab this here. Uh, I think it was in Psalms uh, 94. Uh, Yes. Um. Starting at verse uh, uh, 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? And and and, and that's the thing. Who's that Who's that, that, that throne of iniquity? Esau, Edom. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the head of that is Amalek, you know, your so-called small hatters, you know, making the laws. You know, as the scriptures uh, uh, say, they are not in trouble as other men. You know, the same laws that they apply and, and, and you know, and rake us over the coals with, they don't have to, they're not subject to them. Okay. Verse 21, they gather themselves together against the souls of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they do with their bullshit laws and stuff, you know, and it's, it's okay. You know, they're not, they're not in trouble 
for the things that they do to us. So you couldn't give the the young man, you know, a warning. Yep. You know, you couldn't allow him to say, hey, and then allow him to move back. Yep. Um, there, there's many things that you could have shown. Well, actually, he, uh, he will not show mercy. Uh, he will not give mercy. Yahweh Bashem Yahshai will not give mercy unto him that showed no mercy. Oh, let me, I think yeah, that's you want to pull that? Yeah, I think that's a James 4 and 13. Okay. Uh, James 4 and 13. Nope. Or 2 and 13, man. No, I think I got that. It's all good. Con, con, yeah. that's it. Uh, James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath showed no mercy, and mm -hmm. mercy rejoiceth against judgment. So, so again, you know, that man threw, just started throwing Harold and rocks, which also in, in turn started a riot. But if he would have just showed mercy on the, on the young man, but he was so engulfed with his hatred mm -hmm. and and and. and the evil that he felt justified in what he was doing based off of uh, a, a law or something that could have easily just been uh, looked down upon as far as like, Oh, you cross, you cross the line, get back across the line. If that was a case, mm -hmm. but you would, you felt, he felt justified in causing harm to, to a young man. Well, it's, it's that when you, when you, when you talk about being justified, that's that perpetual hatred mm -hmm. that uh, Esau has always had. You know, if you go, Back in the Genesis uh, chapter 27, verse 41, you know, he now, he, 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 uh, uh, you know, as brothers talk about all the time, he's always the victim, but he's, he's the villain, too. Mm -hmm. You know uh, what he what what he does. He sold his birthright knowing what the inheritance was going to be being the firstborn. But, you know, he was he's, he's a carnal man, a very carnal man. And he mm -hmm. cares, you know. It blood, it, you know, not only does he it, does he uh, shed blood, he eats it, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that 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 uh, morsel of meat wasn't fully cooked. And you see that all over uh, the Internet, you know, uh, him eating uh, raw meat. This is uh, the book of Amos, chapter one, verse 11. And it reads, thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever. So a sword would be a killing instrument. Yep. And so the rocks kills. being thrown, he pursued this young man with the sword, mm -hmm. you know, the killing instrument. In the mm -hmm. other in the other story, you find that they were grabbing pipes and the, all kind of weapons, yep. um, you know, for a matter that... Um, if they would have allowed for things to come all come out, I have a scripture, you know, for that. We bring it up uh, later, mm -hmm. but um, then then things could have been coiled and 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 died down a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. I just want to uh, bring up that point in that in that precept. He said, "And did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually." Mm -hmm. That goes back to let you know what you were saying in uh, the James two and thirteen. He had no mercy, right? No mercy whatsoever. But like the scriptures say, you know, he has to pay for uh, all of his actions. You know, Colossians 3 and 25 says, For he that doeth wrong must receive for the wrong which he hath done. There is no respect of person. Yeah. And, you know, you got these Edomites today. Oh, can we just get along? No. No, the Lord says he visits the, the iniquities of the father unto the third and fourth generation. Well, I didn't have nothing to do with that. Well, you got to answer to Isaiah 14 and 21. You know, he says, uh, prepare a slaughter for, for his, his children, children for the iniquities, iniquities of, of his, his fathers. fathers. That's right. Roughly paraphrasing, you know, this is not a joke, you know, but the Lord is long uh, uh, suffering. And, you know, those of us who understand the scriptures, we understand why uh, uh, you are not in trouble as other men, because Job 21 and 30 tells us that, you know, the wicked is reserved uh, for, for the day of wrath. OK, he will be brought forth uh, to, to destruction. All right, let, let me just grab that so I don't want to butcher it. Mm -hmm. You don't mind, brother. Yeah. This is uh, the book That's of right. Job uh, 21 and 30. And it reads, That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. So that's mm -hmm. that's why we understand it, why you're not in trouble as other men. 
or a plague like other men, according to Psalm 73 and 5. Because the Lord is, is saving up your ass whooping <laughs> on that on that great day of judgment. And it's going to be one that you never forget. You know, we're going to make you remember it for that thousand years you're in captivity. Then you're going to be done done away with for forever. Got one for you. Yeah. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Say, Yahweh, Bashimah, Shai have made all things for himself. Mm -hmm. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Con. Yeah. Con. So when he brings, it brings that... That, that that day of evil, you know, it's all over for you, Esau, you know, mm -hmm. all over. And, you know, and, you know, the thing is, you know, he he, he said, he said, you know, by by the hand of his people, he's going to do that. According to um, I think that's in Joel 319 and um, Ezekiel uh, 25 uh, verses uh, 12 through 14 mm -hmm. by the hand of his people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he calls us his battle axe. That's right. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you, you're you going to have to pay for all the shit that you did. Yep. We got one more scripture. Go ahead. Close. Yep. Okay. Well, just um, how the brother brought, started out with um, uh, for the violence against thy brother Jacob, mm -hmm. right? Which is the Israelites, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Mm -hmm. He said, Shame shall cover thee. Shame mm -hmm. shall cover Esau Edom. That's, again, going back to why they're trying to cut uh, the feed, so to speak, as far as, like, the uh, social media and TikToks and different things. Mm -hmm. Because things are coming out now, and they have to answer for it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to share this. This is the book of Psalm, uh, Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 13. It says, He that answer of matter, before he heareth it, heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. So when you you'll see maybe, you know, Lord willing in the next um, series, you know, uh, part two, you'll find that just like what we're reading today, they um, they answered the the people heard a, um, a rumor. And instead of instead of hearing the, you know, scriptures talk about hearing the whole matter, mm -hmm. but they heard the rumor and their answer to the room to the rumors or the things that they heard was to do to do evil mm -hmm. unto people. Right. Mm -hmm. And now and these last days, it's becoming shame unto them mm -hmm. for the things that they've did. They've done to our people. Con. Yeah. I want to bring up something right, right quick. Mm -hmm. uh, what you mentioned, a perfect example of that is with uh, George Stenny. OK. You know, he was the youngest uh, person I ever executed. So small. He's 14 years old. OK. So mm -hmm. small that, uh, you know, they, they he you know, the, the stuff didn't fit him. They right. had to make uh, accommodations for him to be uh, electrocuted. Only to find out that he had nothing to do with it, right. and then you're going to exonerate him posthumously, right. seventy years after his death. You know, you knew he 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 wasn't wrong in the first place. That's uh, what um, uh, uh, that movie, The Green Mile, was based off okay. of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, all that stuff is is, is coming out, man. Um, and I have one a scripture to support that. This is a. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 85, verse 11, and it reads, Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. So everything that you did is being revealed. You know, it's, and like it's a plethora of stuff, uh, not just uh, Mississippi with the Devil's Punch Bowl. That was mm -hmm. another massacre. You know, uh, Mississippi had those floods, and all those bones start coming up mm -hmm. where they had uh, enclosed us in that concrete uh uh, a valley, you know, put a wall of concrete around us after the Civil War. So, yeah, you know, all of your dirt is coming out, and you will have to pay for it, Esau, you know? Yep, you all got right. the children, uh, the young, the, the children, the board age children. It was, it was coming out, it was, uh, you know, the, the uh, Northern Kingdom, mm -hmm. um, you know, Gad, you know, all those children that they were finding underneath these schools. Mm -hmm. um, and so... Uh, and it's coming out to who who actually had their hand in it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. Up in uh, what was, and that's even one of the prophecies in uh, Genesis of uh, I think it's forty nine and nineteen. A troop yeah, shall overcome Gad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 the person who started that school was part of the military. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sure did. So yeah. that's all you got. That's it. All right, so with that, we hope this uh, lesson was edifying for the elect body of uh, Israel, the nation of Israel. Once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash, 
Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who were well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird. To you we say Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And then once again, we're going to put links to uh, both of these uh, events in the description box. Uh, you can get the full context and full detail of, uh, you know, of the whole stories of those massacres in um, Washington, D.C. and Chicago. All right. So Shalom. Shalom.